It's mid-June, and the giant stonefly hatch is near its end. The fish are full, but can still be taken on small dries and large woolly buggers. So join us today as we fish the ranch section of the Henry's Fork River on Sport Fishing on the Fly. one oh that yeah he's a good fish oh that's a danny right on the dry isn't that sweet <laughs> oh man you can't beat that that's a nice fish too big boy yeah good boat positioning tim awesome i'm gonna anchor up for you sure oh nice. yeah Excellent. oh yeah nice boy and you know he's sitting there rising we spotted him once he only came up once and then i just let that fly drift right in his lane and so what fly he got on the emerging caddis. Yeah. It's one of our favorite flies. We used it. We've used it everywhere and it's been successful. This fly is just a great little pattern to use anywhere where caddis are coming off. They seem to really like it. And I took this guy and he's a nice fish. What a great way to start things off. Oh, I know. Just awesome. We're just hitting the first little hole. Yeah, we're going to float down and do a whole bunch of walk and wade and do some stalking today. That's what yeah. the show's going to be about, but you got to fish on the way down too. Oh, first. yeah, for sure. Well, this guy's nice. He's a healthy fish. He just sucked it right in the calm water there. Wow. Oh, nothing, nothing prettier than seeing a fish sitting in that calm water and comes up and takes it. Oh, it's really important to get a good hook set when you're fishing downstream like that. It is, yeah. Yeah, we'll try to get this guy out. He's nice. He's got some meat to him. Yeah, tough fish in here. Got the real light tippet on here. I think that's Watch another important piece. If he jumps, yeah, he let him go. Exactly. Yeah, he gave us a couple of nice ones early. That's a healthy fish. Let's see if I can get him to breathe a little air here. Oh. His head a little bit. No, nope, he's not quite ready. Oh, yeah. Tough fish. Come on, in your head. Watch for a surge when it comes back. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, there he is. Beautiful. All right. Wow. Well, looks like he's got he's got beaten up a little bit there. I'll let you take the hook out, if you don't mind. Get down and have a little look at this guy. Yeah, it looks like he's got a nick out of him, doesn't he? Yeah, it looks like a bird scar. <laughs> There's teeth in your kind of... Catch on that net. Oh, there he goes. All right. Hey, thank you very job, much. Man. That was a good fish, good way to start. Not bad at all. Well, I know it's gonna be a good day. It's really nice and overcast today. Ideal caddis conditions. Uh, nice and warm out. See lots of caddis on the water, so looking forward to a real good day. So stay tuned. Be right back with some more good fish. Missed him. <laughs> Gee, I wanted to take it. That was a nice one, too. Oh, that was a nice fish, though. All oh, right. We're wondering what was happening here. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. It is a good fish, yeah. Beauty. That beauty. So, we got, uh, what have we got on here? Yeah, a little black stone trailing that bee head pheasant tail. Yeah, it looks like it's on the pheasant tail, so you can see the stone there. Definitely on the pheasant tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you know, the neat thing too is we just, like we were saying, we just finished the, the flat water stretch, the ranch, as you call it. And that was all the dry fly. We had a real good morning hatch, yeah. caught some real nice fish. Now we're into a stretch where you can nymph a bit. 
And then later on, maybe we'll come into some more dry flies. So, I mean, you get the whole thing here on the Henry's Fork. You get it all. You well, can you have know, fast water, you can have the calm water, you can have the nice nymph water, you get it all. You know, too, what happened is the... Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the wind happening big time. Yes. Which wind. doesn't help. Wind came up, kind of shut down the dry fly, and that's where we went to the nymph. Yeah. And it's, it's working out pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Well, let's get a look at this guy. That's a pretty fish. That is a pretty fish, yeah. Okay, we bring him in now? Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, here, pull him up here for you. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Nice Great one. Fun. Well, yeah, good sized fish, too. Pretty fish. Just barely holding on to that thing, too. All right. Oh, here comes the wind again. <laughs> you want to pull that leader? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, excellent. You betcha. Right on. Oh, that's what we came for. We had the nymph him to get that guy up, but that's all right. If the wind ever dies down, he's going to come back up to surface. Right on. Thanks again. <laughs> excellent. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well, today I'm going to tie you up the glass bead caddis emerger. Now, glass beads have been out for a few years now, and a lot of fly tires are really starting to use them. I tend to use them with emerging patterns because they really add a nice glint to the fly. Make sure you have these materials ready before you start to tie this fly. For the hook, we'll use a TMC 2457, size 12. We'll use some Wapsi 8 aught olive thread, some light olive sow scud dubbing for the shuck, for the body, we'll use some green-blue killer caddis beads. We'll use some short, fine deer hair for the wing. And for the head, some peacock curl. All right, we're going to start the fly off by taking our hook. And we're not going to put it in the vise yet. What we're going to do is I'm going to take three of my killer glass beads. And this is a green-blue glass bead. And I'm going to put three onto the hook. I put the hook back in the vise with the beads on it. And I put it on a bit of a tilt so that the beads stay towards the eyelet. Now I'm going to get some my green tying thread, tie in a small layer. I've taken just a small bit of my light olive sow scud dubbing. Now this dubbing is made specifically from Wapsi, and it's called sow scud, and it's very got a real nice translucent sparkle to it. I really like it for emergers. I'm just going to tie on a little bit of the back here, get a little on there, pull some extra fibers back, and tie around that. Make sure that you build up a nice little lump of thread at the back of the fly because you don't want those beads to go down over the uh, dubbing we just put in the trailing shuck. So we're actually going to build up a little mound of thread to hold those beads up. We're going to take our hook and reposition it in the vise so that it's square in the vise now. And we have our thread still at the back of the hook. We're now going to push the beads back onto the little thread bump we made at the back of the hook, the bend of the hook, and we're going to pull our thread forward with the trailing shuck at the back, we're going to leave half of it as a trailing shuck and we're going to take half of that dubbing we had in the back and pull it forward over to form a small wing case. And we'll tie it off. Take some fine elk hair or deer hair. I've actually taken a little bit of deer hair here. You can use the elk. So I've taken a small portion. Now you got to remember this is an emerging fly. It shouldn't have a whole bunch of whole bunch of deer hair on the top. So we're just going to measure the deer hair back, the length of the hook, and tie in a small tuft of deer hair for the wing at the front. To finish the fly off, I've taken a strand of peacock curl, and I'm going to tie it in for the head. A lot of times I will just leave the elk hair on the top as the head, but in this case it is a wet fly and I want to just finish the head off, cover up all that thread. So we'll put a small peacock curl head on and tie it off. Well there you have it, the finished glass bead caddis emerger. Now caddis emergers are pretty standard, everybody ties them in different ways, but what makes this one so unique are those glass beads. When that fly is sitting in that top surface film, the glass beads seem to glint in the sun, especially if you have a sunny day. They glint and really seem to attract the fish. It is a killer pattern. Give it a try.